Why am I with Kirsty? I'm a functional group. So guys, today we're gonna see GUI operating system desktop management. So guys, this is an uh, ICSC class four chapter. Let's go. So guys, first of all, we are gonna see what is Windows Seven. So guys, Windows Seven is an operating system developed by Microsoft in two thousand nine. Some features of this Windows Seven is it has graphical user interface means GUI. It is very easy to use. It has a smart new look. It is highly user friendly. It takes very little time to start. It supports HD games, and it is also it, it also can do multitasking, guys. So guys, this is the desktop of Windows Seven. So guys, you can see over here. I just need to just just a minute, guys. Yep, this is the start button. Then guys, this is the system tray. Then guys, this is all the taskbar guys. You can see over here. Then here are some icons. There actually there's only one icon over here. But in your desktop, you can see many icons guys. Then guys, this is, and I see a small button over here. Guys, this is called the arrow peak. In this arrow peak, this makes all visible windows transparent for a quick look at the desktop. You can see over here, guys. This is the desktop of Windows Seven. And then, guys, let's move on. Then here comes the taskbar sections. So, guys, if you see over here, guys, this is. The start button. It is used to go any software that is loaded on the computer. Then these are all the taskbar buttons, actually, guys. Then, guys, here comes the system tray. It displays, guys, the current date, time, clock, volume button, network icon, and any external hardware icon, guys. And we talked about this arrow peak. You remember? Yes, guys, I'm I'm sure that you will remember this. Now, guys, let's move on. So, guys, icons. I need to write it once again, guys. Actually, okay. So, icons, guys. Icons are small pictures that on the desktop that represent various programs. We can open a program by just double clicking on its icon. You can see over here. Guys, the computer, the recycle bin, then the computer, guys, the control panel, the user, the Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Skype, and Uvu. Guys, here are some common uh, icons on the desktop. Computer, guys, this provides access to the resources on your computer. You can access your flash drive or any other drives on a computer using this icon. Recycle bin, guys. Anything you delete from the computer, it just goes over here. And once you delete from over here, it is permanently deleted, guys. Then program icons. These represent programs in the form of small graphic icons. To start the program, just double click. Shortcut icons. So, guys, what are these shortcuts? Shortcut icons, actually, guys. You might be wondering right now. So guys, can you see this tiny icons? Tiny images present over here. So guys, these are actually, they are used to quickly open a file or program. You can see over here, the icons of Windows 7 are all over here, guys. Okay guys, now let's move on. The start button, guys. This the start menu is the main gateway to all your computer's programs, folders, and settings. It is called a menu because it provides a list of choices, guys. To open the start menu, click on the start button or press the Windows logo key on your desk, uh, keyboard. Guys, you might be wondering that, where is it? Where's the Windows logo key? So guys, on my keyboard, actually, it is on the space bar uh, means on the left side of the space bar comes the alt alt button or alt and 
After that, on the left side comes the Windows logo key. So guys, here's are some sections actually. So section one. Okay, so where's the section one, Sharvel? So guys, you can see over here, section one is right over here, guys. On this section contains a list of programs that are pinned to the start menu. Section two means this one. This is all the list of programs that were previously opened. Section three. So where's the section three? Or the search box you can see over here is used to perform a search on a computer for a particular program or file or folder. Section four means all this guys, test documents, pictures, new games, music, computer, everything comes in section four. So this section is houses the links to other windows you frequently use. And section five means guys, this one, shut down you can shut down restart then sleep mode then uh, you can just log off and switch to a new user etc etc guys so guys now let's move on control panel as its name indicates the control panel is the part of windows that lets you control and customize its various functions the folder contains tools that enable you to view and control various functions of computer. The control panel is seen a standard folder in all versions of Windows. So yes, there are three views of the control panel, category view. In this view, the tools and commands are grouped under eight categories. Large icons view. In this view, individual tools are displayed a list of large icons, guys. Large icons view, in this view, individual tools are displayed as a list of large icons. And small icons view, in this view, individual tools are displayed as a list of small icons, guys. So we're still gonna see a set, how to set a wallpaper. So guys, first of all, you need to right click on our desktop and can you see this personalized button? Just click on it and once you click it, this window will open, guys. Then guys, you need to Click over your this desktop background. Then guys, you need to, you need to click on, once you click on it, you can just, uh, you can just set, you can just choose an image you want to uh, just keep it as the wallpaper. And then you need to click on save changes. So yes, once, once more, I will show you these steps. You can see over here, guys. So, guys, this was today. Hope you like it. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, Ramit Koshti, for all these cool videos, guys. Goodbye.